So this is the fourth Christmas together for me and my girlfriend. However, this year is going to be a little bit of a weird one where Polly and I have to celebrate our first Christmas apart. And while we are generally quite non-materialistic and rather value experiences, we do love to spoil each other for Christmas. But this Christmas we will be apart for the first time, because since we're new in Australia this year, Polly was unfortunately not able to get annual leave from her hospital to join me to Norway, which I travel home to every year for Christmas. So I will be traveling alone for around a month this time. But so, as with everything in life, we just gotta make the most out of the situation. And one of the ways we're doing that is to just simply celebrate Christmas together early before I leave, on December 2nd. Who's eating dessert while cooking? Oh. Look at this, half the cake. I didn't eat. It's eaten up oh, with, while cooking. Preparing the ham. Hopefully it's eatable. While we like to have our own traditions, we also value and like to try new ones and it only makes sense to try a bit of an Australian-inspired Christmas dinner this year and what that typically means to glazed ham, seafood and pavlova oh. <laughs> Be a rock. Nice and while we learned some nice cooking skills from our previous private chef experience, we are still bad chefs ourselves. But what matters is the teamwork, fun, and Christmas spirit. And so we ordered relevant groceries from the supermarket and prepared a six-course Christmas dinner menu. We besides have some Aussie's flavors. We also included some of our favorite Christmas dishes, such as John's signature prawn egg salad and caramelized potatoes. All of them were perfectly delicious. In the spirit of us always being eager to help others and that we had recently received a kind contribution to our Buy Me Coffee page from the Nakarada, we wanted to pay it forward. As promised, we donate 100% of the money received through that platform. And since it's Christmas, we thought that we could donate to something Christmas related. So, we wanted to support the Kids Cancer Project, where we bought a cuddly Christmas teddy bear to be donated to a sick child in a hospital, and where the proceeds from the sale help fund vital scientific research that exists to find better treatments and ultimately cures for many different types of childhood cancers. So again, thank you to the Nakarada for your donation, which enables us to support causes like this. So ever since I was a kid, I have loved giving gifts. Receiving is nice, but giving is better, and I love to make elaborate ways to make my near ones feel loved and appreciated. And this largely stems from my late mom, who was amazing at arranging Christmas for our family and relatives every year when we were kids. And one of the many things my mom used to make every year was a personalized gift calendar for me and my brother, which was the highlight every morning in December. And so this year, in honor of her, and to kind of accompany Polly in December and show her that I'm thinking of her while I'm gone, I wanted to make a personalized gift calendar for Polly. So, beyond some normal gifts, I also prepared a gift calendar of 24 unique gifts for her to open daily until Christmas Eve. For John, of course, he doesn't deserve 24 gifts, just kidding, he's just way too sweet and spoiling me. This year, I prepared some more practical gifts for him, who has been working so hard at work, adjusting real life with me, and being such a 100% boyfriend. However, I've also left one gift that he will be opening on Christmas Day when he's abroad, which we will show in the next video. But back to our early Christmas celebration together before John leaves. So we started opening our other gifts for each other. Just look at all those gifts under the Christmas tree. For only two people, we are not rich or try to overspend during Christmas. But we love seeing each other happy and feel loved. Santa! Santa! What am I getting for Santa? Oh, oh life is short fudge for Santa! <laughs> hey. 
Close to the neighbor? Why do they call themselves the neighbor? Oh. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Yay! Thank you! I did that! Thank you, I finally throw away my gloves and my dirty socks. Sleeping Johnny Boy to the sleeping partner. What? So oh, it's the sleeping partner. Oh, 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 and you play with her. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Ooh, Ooh. that's the sleeping bag. Are you sure it's dear camping? Huh? Are you sure you dare to do camping? Wow. Yeah, I mean, you're afraid of bugs and stuff like that. Oh my god! We're now go, we're in! Guess we're gonna go camping one day. We have to roll. To John the White <laughs> from Sunny Santa. With like sunscreen. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. That center is racist. That center is a bit racist. No, I'm just concerned about my skin, my fair skin. I think the spray is easier with sunscreen. Every day, 50 apply. plus. Is spray is easier to apply. Yeah. We can put it in the car. That's perfect. That's very useful and something I need to do. Use more often. As they say in Australia, there's yeah. nothing healthy about a tan. So we had a ten dollar budget. Oh yes, of course. It's all ten dollar. Oh. <laughs> is it pajama? Is it a shirt? What is it? Tracking yours first. Oh, you got to wear it during Christmas. <laughs> 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 Every year we yeah. got a new Christmas pajama, of course. Yes. Oh, Aww, that's amazing. nice. We can work together. Thank you so much, Santa. Welcome. Hope it's warm enough. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, I think... Uh, no, it's not. It's a camping chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's two camping chairs. <laughs> <gasps> I guess next year we're going to camping! Yeah, we definitely are now! <laughs> oh my camping! Yeah, we have to go camping now! I guess so! Nice! Thank you Santa! Welcome! It's all double! While it was with some mixed feelings that we celebrated early, we know that we can conquer anything together. And since we anyways plan to spend the rest of our lives together, then one month apart is not gonna be that long. And as always, we had great quality time together with lots of fun, happiness, love and laughter, and some nice gifts. And more gifts to open up later on. Before showing some of Polly's Christmas gift calendar experience though, we just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas. We are so grateful for all your support, but more importantly, we just wanted to tell you how amazing you are. And keep in mind that Christmas gifts don't have to cost a lot of money, as long as it's heartfelt and thoughtful. Anyways, may your celebrations be filled with warmth, happiness, and the magic of shared moments. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, as an add the video bonus, here comes my daily Christmas gift calendar experience that John had prepared for me while he was being overseas. Exciting! Gift of the Christmas calendar, December 1st. Should I open the letter first? Yes. Yoga one for me. Yoga one for me. Oh! A little lemon! <laughs> Yay! Recycle bag! Just oh, what recycle. is that? Oh my god! I got a yoga pants? Oh, that's nice! I love it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! What's <sighs> number two? It's number two. I'm so excited, I want to open everything. Yo, you gotta wait for the rest. I'll be with you in sickness and health, but please take these. Oh. Thanks! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that's my, that's my regular art tablet. It's Christian Fantasy. <laughs> thank you, that's so cool. You bought it today. I know, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I need to thank you for my whole life. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! It's a Avocado! Yeah, let me have another calendar. Oh my god, calendar. I eat I got another Avocado. Yes. Oh my god, thank you! So cute! It's Inception. Fuck! Ah! I hate you! I hate 
hate you. I hate you. I need to find number five. Okay. <gasps> Found it. For those lonely nights sipping wine in December and watching Netflix and IG, he always complains I'm scrolling. Da, 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 da. Oh my god! Oh my god, we're really a couple! We got the same thing together! No king in December, so maybe instead some socking? Day six. Cute. Yay! Some long socks! Kid size? Are you planking me every day, John? Day 7 be like So that you can keep the apartment in order while in I'm gone Oh, it's lean chocolate! Thank you, I love it! I mean, you are a snack monster Yay, something I really like Thank you! If you miss my butt too much, here is the second best thing Greatest mushrooms 2024 calendar. Oh my god, it looks like a pot. So cute. Did I mention you're a snack monster? I think you did. Oh, that's my favorite snack. Oh, it's so yummy. Thank you. Every pop of Christmas has a Christmas socks. How many socks I'm gonna have? Oh, that looks cute. Since we can't have three times Pizza Hut for the same time, or three pieces of Pizza Hut same time. Is that pizza? <laughs> oh my goodness! It's an ornament, is it? Pizza ornament. favorite chocolate. Reese is what is one of my favorite. Milo is my favorite. <gasps> and popcorn. The cookies that I really hated. I'm gonna put back, put back in the um, couple because it's been in a couple for a long, long time, and I didn't eat it because it's so bad. It tastes so bad. Well, I got it again. No. Hey, if you stuck around to see the Christmas gift calendar, then look that the last two weeks of the calendar will be added to our next video. After all, at the time of saying this, this is only December 14th. So, stay tuned for what other nonsense gifts he'll be giving me. That's anyways all for today. Merry Christmas!